Not sure if you're willing to share or not, but a video on selling honey wholesale would be great. I work a full-time job and no time to peddle my honey. I'm not looking for who you sell your honey to, just how do you find a wholesale market, the do's and the don'ts, and what does the honey wholesale market look for in their honey product? That is a really good question, Ryan. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna approach this. Let me approach this in a roundabout way, okay? So you're gonna have to follow me a little bit. When you're a small producer, um, like say five or six hives, and you spend the time producing your product and you bottle it, and you send it to the consumer, they buy it. You have a connection with directly with that consumer. And because of that, there's a bond of trust between you and the consumer, okay? And they trust that everything that you've done to produce that honey is of a certain standard, an implied standard. Uh, you have a little facility back home and you're pouring your life and your pride into this product, which you're selling to the consumer. And the consumer sees that and that buys you a little bit of leeway, okay? And I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. When you sell honey wholesale, you are in fact breaking that connection between you and the consumer. Okay, selling wholesale, you are producing the product and you're selling either to a middleman or you're selling directly to the packer. And that packer is going to take that product and they're gonna then sell it through retailers to the customer. So that direct connection between the producer and the consumer is broken. Because of that broken connection between the producer and the consumer, that bond of trust has also been broken. And that is very important. So what we do is we, we put in a regulatory process and standards, okay? Our product has to meet a certain standard um, and is all enforced through regulation. There's a guarantee that that product meets specific standards and has gone through a regulatory process to ensure that. So if you see what I'm getting at here, if you're going to sell to a wholesale market, you have to be able to provide uh, a facility that is approved through this regulatory process. So there's two ways you can go about this. You can uh, build or renovate your facility to meet these standards. Or the second thing you can do is find a producer which is willing to uh, accept your work and process your product for a fee. Okay, so that works. The next thing you have to do is find that market. Okay, and they're easy to find, very easy to find. Look in bee journals, uh, there's listings of guys who wanna buy honey wholesale. Talk to other beekeepers. Um, make sure you sell to somebody who's reputable because you wanna get paid, okay? And you want your product uh, graded fairly. So after you find your market, uh, you have to supply it to them in the containers that they're willing to uh, accept. And that's typically drums. You can maybe find a producer in your area and buy a few drums off them. Now you have to get it to the point of sale. So how you do that, it's all logistics now. Um, if the packer is 100 miles away, just throw it in the back of your half ton, beeline it, uh, they'll pay you cash. If the packer is hundreds of miles away, uh, there's a few options. Shipping it directly on transport might be a little bit costly, but that's an option. You can share uh, semi-loads with other producers in the area, put together a load and ship it to that, uh, that packer. Um, or you can piggyback on other beekeepers in the area if they have a partial load. There's lots of beekeepers. At the end of the year, they have half a load. If you uh, throw your barrels on there and pay for some of that freight, you can get it to point of sale. So you have a few options there. Um, so those are logistics you gotta figure out. So the next thing is, um, what type of product are these guys looking for? And they're looking for everything that you would have put originally into that uh, small can container which you sold to the customer. Exactly the same thing, okay? You want a clean product in that drum. You want it cured, okay? You don't wanna be selling wet honey here, right? Um, you want it labeled with the floral type and the, uh, the moisture content and uh, the degree in coloring, um, 
All that stuff is really important when you're selling your product so you know what you have and you can pedal it off. So basically what you put in that drum is what you put in that little container. You want to have that honey bale to sit and not spoil uh, before they can use and pack it and blend it off and mix it and put it provided for the consumer. So that's basically what you're looking at. So selling wholesale isn't necessarily going to save you a lot of work because you have a lot of steps that you got to uh, take care of along the way. And this is where scale, like when you scale up your beekeeping operation, when you transition from that smaller market garden uh, type business into a more of a um, commercialized wholesale business, that transition can be really tough for producers. And it's costly um, and it requires investment and it requires a lot of thought into logistics. So you're gonna have to walk down that same process as every one of the rest of us and you're gonna have to navigate your way to figure this out. And once you, once you establish yourself into the wholesale market, everything else just follows through. You make your contacts, you make your connections and, and you build relationships with that uh, packer. So they're more willing to work with you and uh, they're gonna give you a good price for your product. So that's the next step and it's a big step but as things progress, uh, it's the natural step. So uh, good luck on your venture and let me know how you make out.